Today, I'm going to give you my first impressions of the new Orfec 06 lighting system. What's going on everybody? I'm Evan and you're watching Cloud9 Aquariums. Today I want to give you a quick rundown of my new Orfec lighting system and bring you some specific details as to why this just might be the best SPS lighting system out there. Before I get started with this review, I just want to clarify that I'm in no way sponsored by Orfec and I paid the full introductory price out of pocket for these lights. First things first, let's talk about what this system is and why it's such a big deal. Orfec got on many of our radars for the first time when we saw an SPS dominated tank on the forums running a bank of their icon lights. The color and pop from the corals were attention grabbing to say the least. With the release of the OR3 bars, we were able to finally add that pop and additional spread to our tanks as supplemental lighting. Now fast forward to the last few generations of lights that have been coming out and the theme seems to be how can we get the full blanket coverage of T5 lighting with the pop and shimmer of LED. Orfec answered that call with the O6. With this controller, we can now link up the six OR3 bars, control them with the same features and app used for the icon, and they come in lengths from 25 inches all the way up to 60 inches. Too good to be true, you say? Let's dive into the details and you can make that decision for yourself. First, let's talk about the build quality. These are my first Orfec lights ever, and before even taking them out of the box, I noticed how heavy they were. No, seriously, these things are five pounds a piece and they are solid. The entire outer surface of the bars are extruded aluminum heat sinks, which means no noisy fans or any moving parts for that matter. And spoiler alert, it actually works. During my peak intensity periods, I can easily touch them and not feel like they're gonna melt my lenses. If you know, you know. Orfec made these IP67 rated, so basically they're waterproof, which is completely unnecessary, but in the best of ways. You and I both know that in this hobby, water and salt creep gets everywhere at some point. Orfec takes R&D to another level. In these fixtures, they use their own proprietary 5 watt LEDs, and the O6 is driven with a single Meanwell power supply. Yeah, that means only one power brick and one plug. The legwork they've done takes the guesswork out of it for us, the user. These bars come in a range of color variations, but I like to think of it like choosing T5 bulbs. You can have a six bulb fixture and choose different temperature bulbs to suit your tank's needs. For my tank, I chose two blue plus, two reef day plus, and two UV violet. I went with the universal fixing mount and a hanging kit, although they offer a tank mount and an extension to mount off your stand as well. Next, let's get into how these lights function and take a quick look at the app controls. The app is very basic and while some people love features, I tend to like functionality. Too many features makes you want to fiddle and lighting should be a set it and forget it experience. After selecting your tank in the app, you'll see there's a quick mode and a program mode. In quick mode, you can easily control all six channels with one touch or you can grab individual channels to find the look you like. Notice that your adjustments are for the entire bar and not just individual LEDs. What this means is that you can't just go off on a wild bender creating some absurd spectrum that the corals won't even like. For my program specifically, I have a four hour ramp up with the first two hours being UV and blue heavy, and then five hours peak followed by another four hour ramp down with the last two hours being UV and blue only. I've also chosen to use their lunar mode, which is actually the first of its kind. Orfec did extensive research into this mode and found that true lunar lighting is actually full spectrum and at incredibly low levels. So this mode actually allows the lights to dim below 1% and then automatically mimics natural moon cycles. 
if you really want to keep it simple, Orifec has preloaded their Helios schedule in the app and it will work great for the majority of tanks. What kind of lighting review would this actually be if I didn't post up some numbers? For my power readings, I'm using an Apogee SQ420X, and keep in mind my tank is 48 by 24 by 16 inches deep, and the lights are mounted 13 inches from the water surface and 29 inches from the sand bed. First, let's set all channels to 50% and get some power readings. Next, I'm going to show you what my current schedule is producing at the peak portion of my day, which is 75% on all channels. And finally, I'll adjust the lights to 100% on all channels. As you can see, these have plenty of punch to grow any type of coral, as well as an ideal spread across the tank. So let's wrap things up with my initial impressions. I really appreciate the clean aesthetic, solid feel, simple programming, and the lack of light spill from these. The pop and fluorescence from my tank was an instant wow factor, and the video just doesn't do it justice. 
these have been running for just over a week now, and while I tried the par match as best I could when switching over to this system, the additional spread definitely boosted par in certain areas of the tank. Yet everything has still been responding positively with great polyp extension and color expression. So was this video just clickbait? Why do I actually think this might be the greatest lighting system of this year? Well, it's overbuilt, overdeveloped, the spread blankets the entire tank, and it's so easy to set up, anyone can do it and find success. But there's also the price. With this current promotion, I paid $1,450, which includes six OR3 bars, an 06 controller, and the universal fixing mount. Now, if you're looking to run softies or a fish only tank, this is entirely overkill. But if you want to pack your tank with LPS, especially SPS, I'd make sure these are on your list to check out. I'm going to be making more update videos as my tank acclimates to these lights and I slowly ramp up their intensity. So if you want to be in the know, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and turn on your notifications. If you need a daily fish tank fix, I post reels daily on Instagram. And finally, if you really feel the need to geek out on the details, I've got a build thread for this entire tank on Reef to Reef linked below as well. So I truly hope your tanks are growing out of control and getting you just a little bit closer to Cloud9.